Have you heard of the story of Chunyang? Chunyangjeon, also dubbed as a story of Chunyang, is a classic that all Koreans love. The tale of two lovers whose love overcome their social status during the Joseon Dynasty has been made into a movie over 20 times and made a strong impression and imprint at each turning point. The first film with sound and color cinemascope in Korea. Today we learn about Chunyangjeon from top to bottom. Let us tell you about it now. On a bright spring morning, Lee Mong-young, a son of a district governor, falls in love with a girl who is on a swing at first sight. Who is that beautiful girl? That's Song chun a daughter of a Kisang who lives over there. The two quickly fall in love and marry despite their differences in status. But their happiness does not last long as Mong Nyong leaves Chunyang to take a state examination. And one day, a new governor of the town, Pyeon Sato, summons Chunyang, who is renowned for her beauty. I order you to sleep with me. Chunyang gets imprisoned for refusing his demand. That's when Mongnyong returns home after passing the test. He punishes Pyeon and rescues Chunyang. Chunyang, raise your head and look at me. Master, I don't know if this is a dream or reality, but if it's a dream, let's never wake up. So that's the story of Chunyang. The story of Chunyang was mainly used as a material that allowed audience to get used to the film technologies that were unfamiliar. And it was 1935. Moving past a long tunnel of silent films, Korea saw its first movie with actual sounds come out. Korea's first director of photography and sound, Lee Piru, and his brother, Lee Myung-woo, served as a director behind the making of The Story of Chunyang. It was a style of The Story of Chunyang no one had ever seen before. It was followed by a massive public response. Film production technology continued to evolve. Cinemascope is a way of screening a film using a very long widescreen with a ratio of 2.35 to 1. Being able to watch a film in long widescreen had piqued the viewer's attention at the time. Korea's first color Cinemascope film was in 1961 with film The Love Story of Chunya. Interestingly, two different films based on Chunyang's tale were released in 1961. Public's attention was gathered on the clash of the two films, which had the same plot and were promoted as a first color cinemascope movie. The directors of the two films casted their wives to play Chunyang, which also was a factor that added extra spice to the contest. So, do you want to know which film came out on top in the end? It was Song Chun Hang by Shin Sang Wook. The film boasted uncontested quality and set unprecedented box office score, reaching 360,000 attendants in Seoul just 74 days after its release. The film industry brought out various measures to compete with televisions, which were widespread in all households by then. One of them is movies produced on a 70mm film gauge. It is the double the length of the 35mm standard film gauge, and it allows each frame to have a larger area of projection and a higher resolution. Korea's first and the world's fifth 70mm film was The Story of Chunyang, directed by Lee Sung-gu, released in 1971. It was promoted as the first 70mm big-sized film. But the movie failed commercially. 
it's unfortunate, but it is still a significant film given the fact that it made the first attempt to introduce such a Korean-themed movie to the audience on a big screen. The ever-evolving Chunyangjeon earns another historic title in the year 2000. One of Korea's most renowned film directors, Im Gwon Tech, chose to make his version of the movie. <laughs> Director Im's Chunyang was surely different from any other. Instead of using the novel, he adopted the Pansori version of the traditional tale and used Pansori singers' performances as the film's music and narration. Chunyang became the first Korean film to compete at the prestigious Cannes Film Festival. From the story of Chunyang in 1935, to Chunyang in the year 2000. It's not an exaggeration to say that the history of Korean cinema has coexisted with the tale of Chunyang from the beginning. Through all these years, countless creators were inspired by the tale of Chunyang and tried out new attempts and implementation. And now, we're waiting for the next Chunyang Jungle.